welcome back to Drag the Mag. I'm currently in the most haunted building in Peterborough. Peterborough Museum. I've gone to the top floor straight away. Join up with John, aka Magnet Demon. Uh, I was already catching stuff on camera as yeah, we're walking along. We um, Magnet Demon's got some kind of shadow on his camera. So I'll get the photo of him later and um, put it on this. Yeah, if you see anything in the background, please let me know. Like I said, we've caught spirits and orbs in here before, noises as well. So I'm gonna just take you through this bit now. Um, just spin the camera around two seconds. So in here is what the prisoner of war camp would have looked like. And over here is where we keep catching spirits and orbs as well. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna catch any spirits on that video today. But Magnet Demons caught some on camera and some on video. The noises you can hear are the noises coming from a speaker, what it would have sounded like back in the day. They would have slept on these hammocks here. And then the first time we come here, we did get a bit scared because they've got mirrors there. <laughs> and then they would have had these beds as well for the prisoners to sleep on. These would have been some of the games that they would have played as well. Deck of cards there, some ladder, I don't know what that is. Bow fragment from clay pipes as well. Towards the third, half penny. And a coin dipped in a half. So yeah, that's where they would have slept. These are some of the games they would have played. Um, what else? We've got this lantern up here. This they would have used this for a light back in the day as well. Um, and they would have worn jackets like this in the prisoner war. So that jacket probably belonged to someone. Believe it or not. These are some more objects they would have had in the Normandy prison, I believe. I'm not going to film everything I see in here. Um, you've seen it on a video from before where we come in here. But like I said, if you guys see anything, drop a link in description and let me know. There is another room we are gonna go into in a minute. Um, yeah, if there is any spirits here that wish to show yourself, then please do, we're not here to hurt you. So this bit called changing lives. Didn't really pick up any spirits from here before. That's what the market used to look like when it was in Cathedral Square. So 
But all this would have been in the kitchen back in the day, the stuff you would have used. Loving the old irons, loving them. I found a couple of them when I've been magnet fishing as well. They're awesome. So, yeah. This is Peterborough. It's probably part of the old train station that was behind on the new build where the embankment is. Pulled a couple of these out as well before. Loads of them. This is what the police used to wear back in the day. So that was probably belonged to someone back then as well. School uniform. And there's John trying on one of the hats, what they used to wear back in the day. This is really cool. I do like this. We have found some of these, not as good as this, to be honest. This might have just been made or just really oh, kept nice. Yeah, the original just kept really clean in good condition. And um, you've got another. That's one that uh, sits on the back of the train, right? Yeah, that sits on the back of the train, I believe. It's amazing what sort of stuff you see. Time, travel back in time, choose a hat. So you've got 1940s ladies felt hat, which is there. Well, you've got the 1940s Women's Land Army hat. I'm not sure if they've got any men's ones. Got the old cases there, the old sack barrel. Then there's basically this is about the brick um, making place, flat and bricks. Um, it's now a massive lake. Have magnet fished in there, found a few things. Time to clock in for work. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs there. We've got the old war helmet, gas mask, pure dried whole eggs. Dog tag, I believe, or some kind of dog tag. Uh, you've got this. It's like a klaxon thing. You spin it around. Um, this is probably some air filter kind of thing. Got the rifle there. Yeah, this would. This was part of the old key fit. Oh, that was in there. Here's some of the old toys used to have. We've got Bucky and Bo, Mickey Mouse, Georgie Porgy book. Some kind of figures there. We've got a classic Tamagotchi, which I have seen in shops. They are bringing them back. 3D puzzle blocks. I used to have some of them. This clown still freaks me out. Don't like clowns or dolls saying that. It's like a doll clown. Buzz Lightyear, famous one. Um, some cars. Got another China doll there. And then you've got Sooty and Sweep, I think it is. And then Thunderbirds game as well. That flash there was just John that was only just me taking, taking photos. A picture. Spectrum. Now oh, I used to play them and the Antari as well. Another scary doll there. I just don't like dolls. And this would have been the modern labour saving home. Um, yeah, old vacuum cleaner. Wow. That's cool. Don't see them ones anymore.
the old washing machine, put the stuff in it, and then you rinse it out through that. Iron, I believe. Rinse, so, wow, washing, uh, washing deterrent. Extra soapy. Then you've got Lady Hawk, I think. I can't read that from here. But you've got a radio there. I'm not sure what it says. Um, funk something. Then you've got the old whisk. Now, I would not whisk any of my eggs with that. So yeah, that's a little bit of this bit. There was stuff in this cabinet before, they took it out, probably cleaning it up or probably put it somewhere else. So we're gonna go and check out another bit of the building. But that seems to be the place that's given off the most spirits at the moment. And just these pictures, when you walk past, they just, the eyes just look like they're looking at you constantly. You see that viewers? So, yeah, back out onto these stairs. Now these stairs, I've heard stories about them being haunted. I've not caught any spirits on them yet or orbs, but I believe they probably, probably are haunted. That rustling is because we've got bags of sweets. So we're keeping our hands in our pockets, seeing some sweets as we're going along. Got the old grandfather clock. And then out here, you've got the train station just somewhere over there. So this bit, Basically, Sam used to be a winch that was above the stairwell that would hoist sick patients between floors um, to get them to different wards and all that. But can't see nothing there unless they mean this used to be the. I'm not sure. Can't see nothing there. Got the old grandfather clock there. <clears throat> and yeah, that room's private as well. You've got the Victorian operating theatre just in here, where we have caught spirits before. There's gonna be sound come on, it's because it's censored. It's what it would have sounded like during when it was a medical place. Dress. You're gonna get my reflection in the mirror, sorry about that. Sorry about the shaking now, it's got pins and needles in my fingers holding the camera. So yeah, this is the operating bed they would have done something on. Tools they would have used as well. Different bottles in there, different kind of scissors, scalp holes. That's the next bit. And the noises you hear is what it used to sound like basically when this was an operating theatre. And that is obviously fake blood. And there's some more about it. Just literally in that room there, the old operating theater that I've just been in. So yeah, this is called Help Us Light Up the Past. I put coins in it and all the coins go to keeping the museum open. So I've just put one in there. Now I'm gonna go in here. And there you go. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So we've just been down here, but we didn't get up and film. Part of the old brick wall. And 
then this. I still can't believe this. And that was found in the River Cam. Medieval 14th century sword. Then you've got a mummified rat. Lead weights, medieval floor tiles. So it's worth all the people that are watching this video just to go through the video. Um, basically, because me and John have been speaking, this is you can sort of try on hats and stuff like that. Um, Good day, mate. That was the shittest Australian accent ever, but. Okay. We've got the torch. Mm. I don't think that's going to happen. So, yeah, you can try on stuff here. And that TV there, it's just there basically showing what's been found. Yeah, like I said, it's worth going through your finds when you go magnet fishing. You've got spearheads here that are found around here. There's just certain bits, especially this section. Now, axe head, I've had one of them. Another little hammer behind it. I've had one of them before as well. You've got one of these pins I've had. You've got scythes as well I've had. Um, bucket handle, I believe, of some sort I've had as well. So yeah. This would have been a bath where you wash back in the day. This bit, Kieran would love this bit. Um, try and zoom in. You've got really old coins there. gold one there but number one this lot here uh, was discovered in Peterborough in 2011 consists of 214 bronze coins that mostly date to around 350 AD so I think all this was from there small Clay pots, match them with what I went to. Some more clay pots this side. And then Roman food, that's what the old Roman sort of kitchen display would have looked like basically. That would have been your oven. Put the coal in the bottom, burn it, and it heats up the top. And this is amazing. This is the Orton Hall mosaic. So, yeah. Got a few more things here. I've pulled out similar items to that as well it's a blade spoon as well um and not the naughty spoons yeah not the naughty spoons <laughs> so i will have to go through my finds now and start having a look at some seeing if i've thrown any away that i've been like oops and then you've got 
And this one here as well. Um, I'm not sure if it's got anything written on it. Oh, and the Sparta sword with bone handle used by the cavalry. There you go. So a Sparta sword. Model of the North Gateway at Longfort. This one as well. This is beautiful. But that was found at Orton Longville, deposited in a river as an offering. Could have offered it to me, I'll to that. So, yeah. Then some more swords. More pots. And behind here. There's a real skeleton. To the skull in the ribs. And this is Stone Age murder. Wind's eldest murder victim. So pause that and have a quick read if you want. And then you've got your camera. I'll tape measure there. Um, this is what they would really use to do archaeological work. The spades, the gloves, cameras, trowels, wellies. Just here, in this room, you can see it, used to be the old surgeon's office, I believe. I'm not sure what it's used for now, probably a teaching thing when they do school trips here. And then you've got this bit, this bit I really like. You've got the owl there, you've got the foxes, you got some birds, you got a little hedgehog. You got some more owls, magpie up there. Another owl. And here we've actually got a fox. A stuffed fox, but you can actually stroke it. It was really soft as well. Really, really soft. And then over here, you've got all types of different butterflies. And then, famous red kite. Pretty read that. Just pause it and have a quick read. Got a squirrel. It looks a little squashed in there. And in here, you got a polecat. So 
So yeah, we're leaving the museum now, heading back into town, see what else is going on. Yeah. It does feel a bit creepy in here, to be honest, but I know Magnet Demon's caught a few things on camera. I've not caught a few things. So yeah, we made it back to town. Weren't really much going on in town, to be honest. Um, did walk around the cathedral, you've seen that before in my videos. Um, but yeah, not a lot happening around town, to be honest. It's a bit quiet. I think the rain has uh, stopped a lot of people coming out and about. You've got this graffiti here, which is actually a face. So yeah, that is basically it. Um, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell as well. But right now, me and John OK Magnet Demon are calling it a day. Um, we just basically had enough, to be honest. It's six o'clock, got places to go, things to do. Um, might be out and about tomorrow, I'm not sure. Definitely out on Sunday with Martin up in Manchester. And then Tuesday, probably up in Leicester with Martin to get the safe mm. out. But for now, it's bye from me. And it's bye from Magnet Demon. See you later, guys. So, see you later. I'll keep smiling.